Greetings from our CCG New Covenant Parish in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens for June 10th, 2019. Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adibui. And the title for today, June 10th, is Good Followers Make Good Leaders. Good Followers Make Good Leaders. And the memory verse is 1 Corinthians 11, verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. We are talking about good followers here. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. And the Bible reading is John 13, verse 12 to 17. John 13, verse 12 to verse 17. We say, So when he had washed their feet, taking his garments, and sat down again, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you say, Well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should do so, you do as I have done to you. Most assuredly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is he who is sent greater than he who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. So our perfect example, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is giving an, a great example there of servanthood even as a leader. So, in the teaching of today, of course, we know that our Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, He came here to teach on so many things. And He was even acknowledged as a great teacher, to the point that people were astonished that is the way he taught, with the authority, and even with the way he taught and this doctrine. So everybody knew that, yes, this was a great teacher. And one of his teachings for his disciples was that on the principles of leadership. And even in this principle of leadership, if you look at Matthew 20, 28, when he was teaching his disciples, he says, the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. So in that one verse, he has addressed issues on leadership, on power, on authority, and on human dignity. And you know this teaching that he taught, the core of that teaching from Matthew 20, 28, it's more or less like upturns the notion of what greatness really is. You know, in the eyes of the world, greatness is more about what that person can do and the power and all of that they, can, they have. But here, we can see greatness from the Christ perspective in the leader is that the leader must first humble himself or herself and provide necessary service to others. So greatness in leadership, from Christ's perspective, is humbling oneself and providing necessary service to others. And if you want to be a good leader, 
even from a devotional title you must be a good follower first so good leaders must be good followers first and foremost and good leaders are not supposed to exercise authority and control over their subjects like the leaders of this world do no it must not be found among God's children we are supposed to serve our first and foremost we are supposed to be of service and be humble that is godly leadership and even for comes in line with this all point that good leaders must be followers first you know even in the body of Christ every potential leader must first learn to be submissive still not in line with humility submissive in service and followership so leadership in the body of Christ requires such people to first be submissive in service and followership those are the traits of a good leader the greatest among should first be the servant and even if one desires to be a leader amongst people you know such a person must first and foremost humble himself and himself to take the least position to serve others that's the trait of a good leader a good leader will not be seeking for ways to be in the utmost or the most prominent position no a good leader must first and foremost be humble and be willing to take the least position and serve others first and foremost and we have been encouraging the devotional of today that in order for us to be good leaders in Christ we must live a lifestyle that honors God in godly leadership for us to be good leaders in Christ in the body of Christ our lifestyles must honor God else we are going to be giving a bad testimony of our leadership and the leadership principles that Jesus taught are firmly built on the principles of followership we must be good followers service we must serve others humility we must be humble obedience obedience to the word of god and obedience to authority which is in line with followership good followership and loyalty because every leader wants their followers to be loyal to them but even if you desire for loyalty we must first and foremost as leaders as potential leaders also display loyalty to the leaders that are leading us currently and when we want to follow jesus christ acceptably we must align ourselves with these principles that we just outlined followership service humility obedience and loyalty and as we do that god will make us great leaders in him in jesus name amen and the prayer point is that father please grant me grace to continually live a life of service to you as a good follower of jesus christ in jesus name father we pray oh god that you will please grant unto us the grace to continually live a life of selfless service to you as a good follower of Jesus Christ in Jesus name even the principles of good followership of service of humility of obedience of loyalty father Lord God Almighty you will grant us the grace to live in these principles in the mighty name of Jesus thank you O God for in Jesus name we are prayed amen thank you for watching and see you tomorrow by God's grace.